In this video, I'm going to outline the five major reasons why I do not trust Mark Steele. One, because he's got links to agencies who are pushing the smart agenda. Two, because he is in opposition to a proven and reliable source of information from experts. Three, because he refuses to cooperate with other anti-EMF groups. Four, because his solution to the problem is fundamentally flawed. And five, because he is guilty of lying on multiple occasions. And if you're interested in hearing the full explanation and evidence relating to these reasons, please watch the rest of the video. Hello, I'm Annie Logical. Now, I started a mass action campaign to highlight 5G about eight months ago, and I've also been running a 5G awareness website called Annie Logical Uncensored. During the past month, I've created YouTube videos that are sharing research that I have uncovered about Mark Steele and his brother Graham. The reason I began to do this because he started to call myself and anybody else um, who questioned him a 5G denier. Uh, people don't realise that I. I was in communication with him at the start. I got him his interview with Richie Allen after mine and I promoted him everywhere. I also promoted Steele's political party called Save Us Now or Sun on the leaflets that I've been sharing. Like I said, this was in the beginning. Despite the fact that I was promoting his political party within the campaign, he had several interviews after that, but never ever mentioned the grassroots campaign to anyone. And when I asked him why, he said he didn't have time, which I just accepted and carried on anyway. Now, the reason we fell out was because I contacted members of a very well-known organisation who had decades of experience in the anti-EMF uh, technology and casually asked them, their thoughts on Gateshead lampposts transmitting 5G and they informed me that they'd also heard of this and they'd previously contacted Steele because they'd seen his videos and they'd noted that he was not using the adequate equipment to test the lamps. Therefore, they'd contacted him prior to this and offered to test with the proper equipment. Bear, bear in mind, these are staunch opponents of 5G technology. Now, the man who spoke to Steele uh, was just one of the 230 doctors and scientists who signed the moratorium against 5G being rolled out, and his name is Alistair Phillips. Alistair was a member of both Bioelectromagnetic Research and Powerwatch. Powerwatch is a group that had been fighting these dangerous technologies for decades, long before Steele came along. But whilst uh, Alistair Phillips and many others have, have spent all their time um, testing and protesting about these dangerous technologies, Steele, who was a self-proclaimed weapons expert, was at the time involved in secret weapons programmes, according to his interview with Richie Allen. So I know who I would rather put my faith in. Uh, Alistair Phillips is also a member of the Safe Schools Information Technology Alliance, where he's fighting for uh, the fact that children are getting exposed to this technology. And he's calling them charlatans. The track record of these people and this man speaks for itself, so I couldn't understand why um, Steele was so hostile towards uh, these people. So I arranged for these people to meet a local resident in Gateshead and test all the very same lamps that he'd shown in the video, and none of them tested positive for 5G, so we made that information known, which has prompted a row between campaigners, which we can certainly do without but i do feel that people have the right to know the truth I've shown on my website that these lampposts are all over the uk in their thousands and they are awaiting the ofcom auction which is selling off the bandwidth over the year in the next year in which other parties will get involved and make them all 5g and they'll all become 5g live all the details that i've talked about are all in the, the past three videos that i've made so i've basically ignored Steele for six months up until a month ago when he started calling me and anyone who asked him questions about this group's test results 5g deniers i'm a 
researcher and an activist. So then I decided to dig deeper and I found that the Steel Brothers are connected to UK and EU agencies that are pushing the smart city agenda, as well as selling smart technology on the UK and Israeli defence websites, which are affiliated to Innovate UK, are also pushing the 5G agenda in the UK. That the man is also linked to Horizon 2020 Framework Initiative funding programmes that Civitas Urban Mobility, which himself and Gateshead councils are involved in. So it struck me that a man who's making himself the spokesperson of the 5G campaign by asking people to join his political party called Sun, which will not even be established by the time they roll out 5G, who's got all these connections to these agencies. Now, I mean, just look at it for goodness sake. The Civitas Urban Mobility Programme actually states what they're doing a strong collaboration between the council and cross-border partners trialling living laboratories in which they openly state they'll use street trial events that will involve street kits. They're spelling it out for us. And he's got it advertised right there on his LinkedIn profile. Now the latest news is that he's been to Crown Court um, uh, about 5G. Now there's a lady in America, a lawyer, who's fighting electromagnetic sensitivity cases in court, asked him for the transcripts of the Crown Court case so she could use it as a breakthrough for awareness. He refused to give her the case number and refused to give her the transcripts, even though she offered to pay for them. And in the end, he resorted to his usual insults and name calling. So I shared a video the other day on Ian Crane's group uh, on Facebook, in which I also asked the same questions. Where's the evidence that Steele was at the Crown Court? Now, I'm sharing with you the conversation that unfolded between myself and Ian Crane, who's teamed up with Steele. And I suggest you pause and read it to understand understand what was said. Ian Crane refused to answer any of my questions. He spoke to me like a child in a condescending manner and he even sounded rather threatening in his manner, strongly advising me. I don't like being bullied for asking questions, that's why I'm sharing this. And one thing he did give me was the link to the court case which he claimed which they're claiming was in the Crown Court. And this is what we found a county court case in which steel case is about harassing cancer. So why the need to confuse people in the first place claiming it was at the crown? They're giving people false information and leading them on a wild goose chase because you can't get a transcript uh you can't get a transcription of a of a county court case. So why didn't Steele just say that in the beginning and be honest to the lawyer who was asking for the information in the first place instead of stringing them along for two weeks? And the thing is also also that the Newcastle building holds both the crown court and the county court so in the same building so having photographs outside claiming it's at the crown court is, is misleading could it be to further popularize a man who wants people to feel candidates in every area for his political party called the sun now crane tried to tell me that Steele only wanted to concern himself with gateshead which is false because i still have the email that uh, Mark Steele sent to me in the early days saying he wants to feel candidates all over the country. It seems rather futile to me to create a political party to fight the 5G rollout. A party that's obviously going to take years to get established when we've got 5G upon us now. I'd rather just take it to the streets now and get it stopped before it gets rolled out. Crane also called me obsessive in my approach of this and said that I was on a witch hunt. Now, I'm merely sharing facts that many people are not aware of and defending myself from the attacks made. For instance, there is a candidate for the Sun Party who spent an hour on a YouTube interview attacking me personally. I was never given the opportunity to be interviewed to reply. The same candidate is sending me private messages on Facebook demanding that I uh, debate with him on Facebook or he's coming to my house because he knows where I live. Now, these are people who are being fielded as candidates for this political party that's going to save us from 5G. I've also got steel supporters who are making memes of my personal pictures to ridicule me and sending me personal messages of insult on Facebook. And yet I'm the one who supposedly who's conducting a witch hunt. Well, I'd like to call it exposing. I found this document, a PDF, 
is a PDF entitled the North East Local Economic Partnership Smart Specialisation Report and it talks of exemplars who fit in with the development priorities of the seven local authorities including Gateshead and the Horizon 2020 framework for, further, for furthering the smart agenda and one of those companies that is named as being involved is his company Review Worldwide. And as far as this young man threatening to come to my house to get me to debate, to debate him, with him live on fa Facebook, I suggest you do some research, mate, and look at the facts instead of being spoon-fed false information by the Steel Brothers. And to Ian Crane, who strongly counsels me to, to stop sharing information on this, I strongly counsel you to answer the questions that I posed instead of ignoring them. And I ask you, why did you send me a county court case number and claiming that it was a Crown Court case number? People need to be their own leaders in their own communities. You need to get involved and get the information out there. Demand that it gets stopped before it's fully rolled out. Not wait years to establish a political party to fight an there's no doubt that microwave radiation and LED lights have contributed to ill health and deaths for a long time, including stillbirths and cancers. And this has long been pointed out by organisations such as Powerwatch for decades on their website. There's also no doubt that 5G testing is happening all over the world, which I have documented extensively both in the UK and abroad on my website. But claims that were made about Gateshead lampposts were false from the beginning. And Steele's links to the Smart Agenda, the Council and Smart City 5G agencies who are pushing the 5G agenda, it needs to be discussed. And you can't attack the messenger because the message doesn't suit you. I'm Annie Logical. Thank you for listening. Stay safe.